Pachi. Hi, this is Chef Pachi, and today I have an amazing video on drying your own herbs. You can buy all the fresh herbs you want and never worry about them spoiling. This is what I do. I buy my herbs in different kind of containers. They come in all different ways. Some I have planted. And what I do, I take my fresh herb, remove them from the package if it's plastic, or just open the package if it's a plastic container that doesn't stick and place my herbs open over these containers. Then I refrigerate them. I start using them, but in the meantime, since I leave them open, they're going to dry. So they are going to dry in the fridge on their own. It might take them two or three weeks, but in the meantime, you can use some. None of them will spoil. It's amazing. You're going to see how beautiful that dill looks the sage, the rosemary, the thyme, and some oregano that I got later because this day I couldn't find it. There I have some beautiful thyme. Look at all these herbs. And I can use one herb one day and one herb another day. And the good thing is they're always going to be there available for me to use with no waste. Basil dries, but it's not the best quality it can be. So I prepare a concentrated basil or pesto sauce with much less oil, no parmesan and no pine. I freeze cilantro and parsley. I freeze chopped. I don't dry them. Those you can watch in the concentrated pesto video and the spice cubes video. Enjoy delicious food made with fresh and home dried herbs. Now, it's been a week. And check it out, there's my oregano. And my oregano is the freshest there so far because it was newer. Our rosemary is drying out, the dill that dries beautifully, and our thyme, my lemongrass. Here's a dry one for you to see how it looks. It's so easy to get these leaves off the stem. Amazing. The aroma is out of this world. You would love it. We're going to add everything to the bag and you're going to see first how we get all those leaves off the stems easily. And of course you can do it by hand. Oh, it's beautiful and amazing. I hope you can hear the birds today right here in this lockdown. I don't know whose car went by, but there are no cars and we can just hear the birds. Beautiful. Check out all the stems that are coming out from the oregano. And that way you separate it in seconds. It takes no time. Same thing with the other herbs. As they dry, it's very easy to get them off and their stems. Store them as you want. You can store them refrigerated, you can store them outside if you live in a place that is dry. Add some extra flavors to food you're going to reheat, like this beautiful red rice, some onions, tomatoes, bell peppers, asparagus. All of those can be baked with this just an herb and olive oil. Same with these beautiful shrimp. Make amazing herb breads. I make them like this so I can slice them and freeze them. This is what they look like when they dry. And check out the difference between the dry rosemary and the fresh one. Both have an amazing flavor. Just as good one from the other. Flavor up your rice and change it every day. Even the same one. Check out this wild rice with our rosemary. Shiitake mushrooms with dried dill. And check out how it keeps its color. Broccoli squash, all our vegetables, even mixed vegetables like these ones on the grill. They are amazing, especially because they have some extra herbs on top. These are a mix of dried herbs. Bring up a simple salmon that's air fried, a large piece of salmon with some marinade, some beautiful sashimi. Any of these foods are heightened with our herbs, be them dry or fresh. Check out beans, how simple we can make black beans, red beans for, um, for some amazing chili, cannellini beans for any day, even salads. 
and last but not least, make amazing pizzas. Bring out all these beautiful flavors from your fresh vegetables that you add to your pizza. Make them look amazing. How about this one with sage and figs? And everything you're going to have home at hand, always Chef Pachi, delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy Chef Pachi.